Hey guys, it's Angie, and it's time to do a favorites video. It's a fall favorites video, so it's going to encompass all the things of fall. And I'm really excited because I haven't done a favorites video in a while. And yeah, it's been like Halloween mode. Now it's time for fall mode. Autumn, autum autumnal mode. First off, I want to start with brushes. And these are brushes that I feel like such a dingleberry for not <laughs> talking about or trying out because they're fantastic and they're from Samantha Chapman's Real Techniques line and I haven't tried out the eye brushes yet these are the only three brushes that I have from her line I have the um, powder brush and the blush brush which I love and then the real no expert face brush these brushes are fantastic and I don't know what's wrong with me that I didn't try these out before now um, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I saw them and I was like <gasps> gasping for air because I've wanted to touch them for years now and they're just incredibly soft and I mean Samantha Chapman I love you you are awesome I love Pixie Blue as a whole she knows how to make brushes and these are great so highly recommend these three that I have so far I'm gonna try out the rest of the line, but I love face brushes, so I went for these first, but real techniques, love them. Next, I'm gonna talk about my go-to foundation. It's been the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation. I always forget how much I like this foundation. I find that it looks the most skin-like of all the foundations I've used, and it does provide a medium coverage. It still looks um, like skin. It's what I have on right now. Uh, some of the foundations I have, especially the drugstore foundations, tend to oxidize. This doesn't, and it doesn't do like a mask on my face. So I really, really like this one. I'm in shade 115. I could probably stand to go a little bit lighter, but for now, I love this. So on to a lip favorite. This is from Hourglass. I don't know what these are called, but I got it in one of those lip sampler things, and it's called Child. It's on my lips right now. Love it. It's a great nude color. I love their applicator because it's not quite a doe foot, but it's kind of a doe foot. Um, and it just, it fits on the lip really nicely. And I love the feeling of this on my lips better than probably any other um, lip products that I own currently. So I love it. I want more colors of it. I know hour, Hourglass is pretty expensive, but this is one that I really like and it's called Child. I think I said that already. Now on to eyelash glue, because I've never had a favorite eyelash glue, or maybe I have. Um, this is Adalash from Premier Products PPI. This is the best eyelash glue I've ever used. It's latex free, it dries clear, it's waterproof, it's fantastic. I wore this on um, to the Halloween party that I went to, and I had these massive like two inch long eyelashes, and this kept them on all night. I didn't worry about it, I knew they were set in place, and this is just, best eyelash glue I've ever used so eyelash awesome next is one of the best mascaras I've ever used and it's their real from benefit I do have the little baby size and I think this was a birthday present from Sephora I'm not sure I love the brush I love the brush I think the brush is like it looks some like like some like torture device from medieval times. There's like a ball on the end and there's spikes and there's spikes everywhere. This gives my um, eyelashes incredible length. Uh, not so much volume, but it does lengthen them. And I really like how it feels on the eyelashes as well. It's not like crunchy and hard and crisp. Um, really check it out. It's a fun little treat if you want to spend a lot, if you want to splurge on a mascara anyway. Also for the eyeball area, I've got the Stila Kajal Eyeliner in Topaz. I've had a lot of long nights because uh, I'm moving soon and it's been a lot of worry and it's been a lot of like turmoil, inner turmoil. And this has made my eyeballs look so much better. <laughs> it's on my inner rims right now. It's flesh toned eyeliner that makes your eyes just appear more awake and I really enjoy it. It stays on my waterline pretty well. Maybe after six hours I'd have to, you know, reapply but otherwise I really like it. I have a love-hate relationship with this next product. It is the EOS Balms. This is the strawberry sorbet that smells amazing. Like I just I just want to open it and smell it like all day long but these aren't incredibly hydrating. Um, they are initially when you first put them on but after about I don't know an hour or two you have to reapply. So it's not one that I would use at night. I would use like a heavier thicker lip balm but for conditioning the lips for like lipstick or lip gloss, it's definitely worth it. And the smell is just ugh, out of this world, amazing. This product is from Clearasil and it is the Daily Clear Daily Pore Cleansing Pads. 
They have salicylic acid, 2% acne medication, cleanses with exfoliating action, clearer skin every day. And I have this um, 90 pad little tub of them. They are really cool and they're not really dried out like you would think they would be. They're saturated. They smell so amazingly good. Like, oh, I just, I love it. And I really do enjoy um, the outcome. My skin feels really clean after I use this and exfoliated. And it makes my skin feel, feel really soft. So what I'll do is usually wash my face, then come, you know, grab one of these babies and exfoliate and then put my moisturizer on. And it's just been really working out for me. So I like these a lot. And I think they're like $6, so that's not bad. My perfume favorite this month has been Coach Poppy. A lot of people say this is an older lady scent. I don't care. I love the snot out of it. I think it's beautiful. And what I do is I'll wear it for a couple of months and not smell anymore, so I'll stop wearing it. Because you kind of, you, you adjust to smells. So um, this month I've had to re reimagine my love or reenact my love. What's I don't know. I've just been using this again and loving it and just... It makes me feel so good. It makes me just feel complete and whole and amazing. So that's Coach Poppy. Love it a lot. Moving on to some life stuff. I want to mention um, my pug Bowie. He's been my favorite for six years now, but every month. But especially now because I am moving and I'm not going to be able to take him with me. Um, as I was researching the move, I saw that pugs couldn't really be flown on a lot of airplanes and a lot of... Um, Airlines do not fly short-nosed breeds, so I didn't realize that I wasn't going to be able to take Bowie with me. Uh, I did research some like transportation, like vans and ground transportation, but it's incredibly expensive and it's not something that I foresaw or was able to save for. So he's going to be staying in North Carolina until um, I'm out of school and able to get a job and earn the money to get him to LA with me. So it's really, really sad, but I've taken as much time as I can to snuggle with him and love on him before I leave. Anyway, I bought these um, pug slippers from Kohl's, which they're freaking adorable. So I'll get to take him in a way and wear him on my feet, but yes, these are a must have for all you pug lovers. They should be on like Kohl's website too, so pug slippers. So that's my favorites guys. I hope you enjoyed my fall favorites. If you have any favorites, leave them below in the comments. I love to find new products and find new obsessions for every season of the year. Um, join me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I have an Instagram now. It's very exciting. <laughs> really exciting. And um, you can see me do duck faces on there. And you can see my pug slippers too. And you can see all sorts of things as I move to LA. Otherwise, that's it for this video guys. Please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you very soon with a new video. Take care. Bye.